Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for joining me again. And as you can see, slightly different video today, um, but very similar to what we did last year in regards to um, a quick review of the previous year and then what we're planning on doing for this year. So I don't really wanna to focus too much on 2023. I kind of want to focus more on what we're planning to do this year because I feel like this year is going to be a really big and really good year for um, myself and for the allotment. So, um, and I really can't wait to kind of like bring you along on the journey with it. So yeah, I don't want to too, uh, focus too much on last year. Um, if you can hear very heavy breathing um, or huffing, it's because Robbie is right next to me and we haven't been out for the yet. So um he's kind of waiting for me to take him out but if i am looking down quite a lot it's because i've got my trusty notepad um and i've just made a couple of notes because i really don't want to miss anything off um on what we're going to go through so yeah first of all let's jump into quick bullet points of 2023 so first up, I just want to focus on the things that maybe didn't go too well um, or just a couple of things that I wasn't too happy with. Uh, they're not so much negative, but just things that, say so let's say, didn't go to plan. Um, and first of all, it was the planning of it. I was really not planned in advance far enough last year. I think that's kind of, I hope that makes sense, but in a way of, I was always working only like a week ahead um, and it just wasn't long enough in regards to where things were going to go in the ground, uh, what needed to go and when, what I needed to have ready, like things like modules and it all just kind of got on top of me and it was working in a very kind of reactive way um, and I think that kind of takes me on to my next point of um, the organisation side of it. So things like looking at what the weather is going to be over like the next month or so um what needs to be planted out how long things take to germinate um not just thinking well i can plant that next week because obviously some things take longer to germinate than others um and i just really need to take that into consideration so we'll go into that a bit more with 2024 um but yeah just those kind of things i just really didn't um, realise how important they were. I think that's what it was. I think I did take them into consideration, but I just didn't realise how important they would be to have such a productive year um, or a productive yield. So yeah, those are things that were taken into 2024 that we need to focus on a little bit more. Um, also, just the pressure that I put on myself that to make the year almost perfect and you're never going to get that are you you don't really know what the weather you can't say exactly what it's going to be like and you cannot plan for every single scenario all the time and make it perfect so i'm definitely going to take the pressure off a little bit more and we're going to have a little bit more fun this year um and hopefully with a little bit more organizing and planning it should make it a little bit more fun so yeah but Things that I really loved last year was the speaking up a little bit more in regards to meeting people in the um, in my kind of like site. So um, as some of you may know, I've mentioned it a few times, but um, I'm not a very social person. I'm very much an introvert. Um, is that what it's called, an introvert? Um, until you really get to know me and I really struggle with um, like small talk and just kind of general conversations, which is very weird because I have a YouTube channel. I know it sounds very odd, but face to face with people, I can be very awkward. Um, I can, yeah, it's really difficult for me to have a conversation. So, um, as you can see, I waffle quite a lot. So, yeah, just getting to speak to more people around the site was really good. I met some really, really lovely people. Um, and a really good way of being able to do that and helping me step outside my comfort zone was actually having produce to go and almost have a conversation starter. Um, 
So I met a really lovely gentleman who grows roses and I've never really known how to start that conversation off. So I took some plums with me and said, did he want any? And it started a really lovely conversation. So um, it's something that I'm actually also taking into my personal life as well. Um, just having my allotment has really helped build my confidence in day-to-day -day life and how I can actually speak to people. So um, yeah, that's a really big positive I took out of 2023 um, from my allotment. So let's stop looking backwards and let's look forward into 2024. So for 2024, I've split it up into five sections. So first of all, is planning an organisation. And this is going to be a really key one, I think, for um, just having a really productive year and enjoying it a lot more. So for the planning aspect of it, I've really gone a little bit out this year. <laughs> um, I tried to do this on pen and paper, which you absolutely can do. However, because I don't have enough experience and knowledge yet, I was doing a lot of rubbing out. Um, the paper became very messy. It was really difficult to kind of um, keep track of what I was doing. So I decided to take advantage of having the iPad or just an electronic device. And what we've done is, I've kind of split it up into months. So each month, will tell me what's in the ground and what I need to sew in modules. So the reason I've done it like this is because it will show me, I can just literally, if, if say the onions and garlics are gonna be in the ground for like six months, I can have them in every single month that they're gonna be in there. So when I then move on to the next month and see, right, what space do I have? I know that the onions and garlics are gonna be staying in there, if that makes sense. So I just really wanna know how the whole year is gonna go. So I know exactly what um, needs to go in the ground when. I don't have to think every month of what I'm gonna be planting um, because I really struggle with that, with not having the experience yet so just having it already kind of like written out already done for me um will just make things a lot easier um and smoother i think just the process a lot smoother throughout the whole year so yeah i'm really excited and it will also show me kind of what space i've got to have a play around with um if i've got a whole bed maybe that's going to be my experimental bed for this year um or with the like squash bed kind of what's gonna when do the squashes need to be sewn in modules kind of for like the last month before the onions and garlics come out because i think the squashes can go straight in there after I'm not 100 percent sure still need to finish it off but yeah i just feel like this is just gonna make it really easy and then if i need to move things around it's literally just a um point of just clicking and deleting and it's done and it doesn't really matter so yeah i feel like this is going to be really really good and then with that that kind of then is also with the organization part of it in regards to it's told me exactly what seeds i needed to have bought um and i really needed to get them in advance this year because um last year i left it all too late i left it to the month that i needed to plant it and it made it really difficult for me to buy seeds um and just get the ones that i absolutely needed so this year i've been really organized i've bought all the seeds that i absolutely need that i know i'm definitely going to be planting out um and they've already gone into my seed organizer organizer which i will link down below because it's really it's been really quite good for me if you've got a really big collection of seeds it might be a little bit too small because it is a six by four photo organizer um but if you're kind of just like starting out and you've got a little bit of everything but you want to keep them organized it's really great it's waterproof um you can just kind of carry it around with you um so if you do want to leave it in your shed it's watertight just in case 
for any reason your shed does leak it's kind of like done and ready so yeah i feel like that is a really good thing for this year um with my seeds i have got majority of them from premier seeds which have always done really well for me um they've majority of them have always germinated so i've never had an issue kind of with that aspect of it delivery's always been really quick and i feel like they've been really reasonably priced the other place i've tried this year is real seeds because they had a really good i've heard really great things about real seeds and when i looked on their website they had a really great selection of different varieties that i've never even heard of before so I thought they'd be really good to give them a try um and they came really quick as well i feel like the delivery was really reasonably priced the seeds were really really reasonably priced and i love the fact that all of their seeds come from their land that they have which i believe is in wales but um i'll link both of those pages um below i also really want to grab some from Forgive me if it's wrong, I'll link it as well. But she grows veg. So I really want to grab a couple because she has such a good variety of those. But I just wanted to make sure that I had my um, basics just in there ready to go. Um, and that's what the budget went on was for those ones. Um, but yeah, she's got some really great different varieties that, again, I've never heard of. So we can grab a couple of those and give them a go this year as well. Um also with the organization part of it, I just need to make sure that my shed is really organized this year, um, that I can just grab things, know exactly what I've got, what needs to be bought. I do need to buy some new tools, I think. The tools I had, um, or that I've been using so far, were, I actually took over when I took over my plot. So they were in the shed that was already there. And they've done me really, really well, but some of them just aren't up to the task anymore um so i really want to invest in some new tools and also um having the amount of modules that i'm gonna need i was using a lot of um, random pots last year which was really good it really helped but um i almost need to get some just trays that i can carry them around in and kind of keep all of them together um with some of them being kept outside the um labels came off them so i need to figure out a way that um i'm not wasting things but that things can be kept together and i think the best way to do that will be to have trays so um need to get a couple more of those also with organizing to know what jobs need to be done and when so it kind of leads into one of the things from 2023 in regards to things felt really half done last year. For example, my fruit cage, my polytunnel, the beds. Um, I wasn't really organized in a way of everything, as I said, was very last minute, it wasn't planned well enough. So to do the big jobs, I always only ever had like an hour here and an hour there. And then the weather started to get really bad. And with my fruit cage, I didn't really want to be on a step ladder. And the wind and the rain, especially when it was only me on the um, on my plot. And sometimes just me on the entire site. So I have to take into aspect, the safety aspect, sorry. And to make sure that I have enough time in the good months to get all the big jobs done, like my fruit cage and the poly polytunnel, um, and not leaving those things into the winter where you're only getting an hour here, an hour there. Um, the weather's just not right for it. So yeah, taking the weather into account to make sure that those big jobs are done in the months that I can actually get them done in. Um, just having that organization aspect of it is going to be really, really important, I think. So, yeah, but organization and planning is just going to be a really big one for the start of this year to hopefully put me in a good position for the remainder of the year. 
I want to make sure all these aspects are done by end of January really so I don't have to think about them for the rest of the year that's kind of the whole point in planning isn't it to be planned for the rest of the season um, and then it just puts me in a better position when the unknown does come up so yeah they're going to be really big ones for 2024. Number two is aesthetics and I know probably for a lot of people aesthetics isn't really a big thing you're in nature doesn't really matter but more what I mean by aesthetics is I really want it to be a place that I can go where I can just sit and read and look out and enjoy the view and not be thinking that needs to be done and that needs to be done um why wasn't that done in time I'm running out of time for that why am I sat reading where I should be doing this I just really want the plot to be somewhere that I can go that is just a space to just enjoy rather than it being a to-do list. Um, so, and I think just having an aesthetic point for it is just going to be really key to being able to enjoy the space. And it's more kind of as well not just focusing on produce and actually focusing on having flowers that I can cut and bring home so I can bring the allotment almost into my home as well not just like kind of having it as a space where that is there this is home kind of wanting to bring them all into into one and have it more be a part of my life day to day than it just being one point of my life so yeah aesthetics is a really short one but i feel it's going to be a really important one for this year coming up number three is knowledge and i feel like this is going to be a really important thing for this year with having made sure that the planning organization is done um having a space that i can just kind of go and sit and enjoy and it means that I'll have more time to build up my knowledge and have a more of a smoother ride will help me remember things a little bit more, I think. At the moment, my knowledge has only been building because of things that have gone wrong. And I feel like it almost brings a negative aspect into the learning kind of way. So I really wanna bring more of a positive aspect into my knowledge and that being, having a space to sit and read or um, watch YouTube videos, watch TED Talk, things like that really. So building up my knowledge is gonna be more of like an enjoyable aspect. I really wanna do some courses. Um, so if you know any great courses, do let me know in the comments below um, and I can have a little look at those. Um, I'd love to do some face-to-face -face ones. I feel like that would be really, really good um, because when you do online courses, I feel like sometimes, or when you're reading a book, everything is from your perspective and how you perceive what's been written or being spoken about. So I feel like if I can do more face-to-face, -face, you get more diversity and opinions, or diversity from opinion of opinions, if that makes sense. Um, in actually speaking to people um, and getting their point of view and their perception of things. So um, yeah, I feel like that would be a really good one. But also in a way of, I really want my knowledge to be built up this year for things medicinally and herbs and spices. I'm really focusing on my health um, this year, especially my physical health. For the last couple of years, I've really been focusing on my mental health and the allotment has been a really great space for me to work on that. And now I really wanna incorporate it more into my physical health. So what I'm taking in, um, what I'm eating, what I'm digesting, um, ingesting and things like that. I love teas and a lot of things like chamomile and peppermint and just teas in general i'm having to buy from a shop and now i've got the space to be able to grow my own why not so but i really want to make sure especially if 
things have a potency to them that I'm making sure I know in exactly what goes into my body, um, what the effects that they're going to have and things like that really. So knowledge is going to be a really enjoyable one, I feel having been planned and organized, I feel like knowledge is just going to be a really good and fun aspect for 2024 as well. It that kind of takes me, the courses and things takes me nicely into um, point number four, which is shows and events. I'm so excited that this year I'm actually going to have three months off of work as a career break, which is going to enable me to go to more shows and events and get to do those things without having to book off holiday and my partner's doing it as well so he is able to sit at home and look after Robbie for me um during those times so I'm really excited to be able to go and do those and just be around other like-minded people in like a large aspect so I probably am looking to go to them alone. Um, I really enjoy going to things like that alone because I can kind of move around in my own time, but still being able to meet people. And um, one point of my well-being is working on the five pillars of well-being. And one of those is the social aspect. And as I said before, my socialization isn't great. So just even if I'm by myself, just being in social, um situations and surroundings i feel like will be really good to help build that confidence of just being around people so um ones i really want to go to are of course the rhs show so the melvin show the um Chelsea Flower Show and also the Autumn Show as well. Um, I really want to get up to um the David Austin I don't know what they call it but almost like a showroom. I know that they have all of their um, roses out. So I really want to go up there when it's like a really good time to see all of them in full bloom. Um, and I can pick some of those up. I really want to grab some for the garden and for the allotment as well. I love roses. They always remind me of my nan. Um, I'm not quite sure why, um, but my name also, um, the kind of, um, translation of it is rose so um it may be why i'm so drawn to them i'm not quite sure but i really want to get to david austin i have got their um book um so i'm gonna i've kind of like looked and seen which ones i really want to go and just have a look at in person they look beautiful in photos but yeah i really want to go and look at them in person really smell them I'm very much a, a visual person and a, I like to touch things and see how they smell, look, um, almost like a senses kind of person. So yeah, definitely want to get to some of those this year. I also want to do some more volunteer days. Last year, I had the absolute privilege of going to volunteer at Hugh Richards um, Land and it was incredible. It was one of my highlights for 2023 and just to be able to go there and work with other people. There was only one other volunteer, so it was really nice. Um, I didn't feel overwhelmed. And we got to have really great conversations. Um, there's a, another guy there called Neil, and he was just so lovely, so welcoming. Um, we just had like a really nice day. And as I said, it was one of my highlights. So I wanna make sure I'm incorporating um, a few of those into this year and having that extra time i hope will enable me to do that um whether it's volunteering or doing the courses as well definitely doing more in-person courses um but yeah so if you can ever put your name down for a volunteer at hugh richards um land i highly recommend it it was the most enjoyable experience. I mean, it absolutely chucked it down at the end of the day, but it didn't matter. Um, other shows maybe that I probably wouldn't have thought so much about last year was actually cooking shows. I'm not the greatest of cooks. I will be 100% honest. Uh, my partner is a chef, so he loves to cook. Um, and he's really good at um, coming up with just ideas off the spot. So he does a lot of cooking at home, but 
I really want to make sure that with the things that I'm growing, I'm actually being able to do something with them if he's not here. Um, and it sounds really silly, but um, a lot of the time I bring things home and then don't really know what to do with them. Um, they then have to go back into the compost because they're not edible anymore. And it's just such a shame. So I really want to do some more um, cooking this year. And I feel like shows and events will be a really great place to go to. Um, a couple of people that I absolutely love with cooking, um, YouTube-wise, Gaz Oakley, absolutely love it. I actually found that my partner had a book of his, so um, I've been trying a couple of bits out from them. Um, also, Deliciously Ella, I know that she's very focused on um, like plant-based, so I really want to give those um, some try as well. I want to try and grab that book if I can, but if you know any great cooking events or cooking shows, please do let me know because I'm really struggling to find those. Um, but yeah, just let me know of those. And then last but not least, with that, I really want to go to some more vintage fairs. Um, not it might have been last year actually, we went to the one up in Peterborough and I managed to get my harvest basket and it was £15 and it is just beautiful. I love it so much. And I also picked up some little um, terracotta pots from there as well. And don't get me wrong, they are a bit more pricier than obviously your normal modules, but they look so beautiful and I really want to get some more to go on the shelves in the kitchen. So. I kind of want to see what I can pick up from there, um, especially secondhand things. I hate wasting things and I hate to buy things new if I don't really need it. I like to reuse if possible. So I really want to have a look at some more vintage and secondhand fairs for this year. Last but not least is our kitchen garden. So. Last year was very rushed with the garden. We just really wanted to get it in so we could enjoy um, the actual garden. So we focused more on like the building aspect of it and not so much what we were planting. So everything that went into the kitchen garden was very last minute last year. Um, I don't think it had enough soil in it. So things were kind of, didn't have a lot of stability. So this year I really want to focus on that maybe making it more for things like salad that we kind of like pick as we go, spinach, um, lettuce, and hopefully that will stop with the wastage of food, um, especially with salads, because obviously we don't have a lot of room to keep things. So just being able to go out and grab a couple of leaves and a couple of bits of spinach and things like that, I think will be really great. I also want to get some more things out the front of our house because we get a lot of light, a lot of daylight um, into the front. So things like tomatoes, peppers, um, anything that needs a lot of light, a lot of heat, I'm hoping we can do something out the front of that as well. So maybe we'll make that a little series again like we did with the garden makeover. Maybe we'll kind of do a kitchen garden or just a home growing series i feel like that might be quite nice for this year as well um but yeah the kitchen garden is something i really want to focus on a little bit more this year um in just enjoying being able to go and pick things from literally just outside the back door i feel like will be really really lovely but that's it for today guys but before i do log off i just wanted to say a huge huge thank you 2023 was an amazing year for youtube we hit a thousand subscribers i feel like we really we built a really amazing community just having some of the conversations with you guys it's just absolutely amazing the same people coming back and back again to watch and comment and like and subscribe it's just i'm super grateful and super appreciative so Thank you all so much. Um, it really means a lot and your kind words every single week are just, just super appreciated. So thank you so much. I cannot wait for this year because 
with the time off, I feel like I'm going to be re able to commit a lot more to my YouTube and just bring in a better quality of videos, more videos to show you, um, maybe a different style of videos as well. We'll see um, if there's anything that you would love to see um, more of or just see in general. Do let me know down in the comments um, below. That would be really great. But I'd also love to hear what you guys are doing in 2024. If there's any shows that you're going to, if there's anything that you think that I should definitely make sure I go and see, do let me know. Any varieties that you're growing. Um, I know that we're from all different places of the UK, different places of the world. I know we've got some people from Canada. Hi, Ali. Um, yeah, I just would love to know what you're doing on your plots, what your gardens, um, anything that you're doing this year would be really, really great to know. So, yeah, just huge thank you to, your, to you all. Um, yeah, so... Have a lovely week. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe. Um, it means a lot to me and I feel like we've got some really great things coming in 2024. So make sure you're subscribed and you've got the notifications on. So yeah, have a great week guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.